fantastic little gadgets. <laughs> I don't look so great. I'm not feeling so great. Very croaky. Look, he's still breathing really crap. But I needed to show you my little nebulizer, which is something I constantly, constantly use. And I'm sending one of these to a subscriber of mine, which has been struggling with that nebulizer and not been getting much help. So um, I was going to do them a little video on, on how to use it. And I thought, you know what, I might just do a quick review of this because it is such a brilliant gadget. I mean, I've got a video that I was going to do um, about all the little gadgets that I use, which I will do at some point soon. Um, but because this one's needed to be uh, looked at now, I thought it'd be a really great idea just to uh, do a quick review on it and then do a, a really more in-depth one when I do the rest of my gadgets. So for now, this is for everybody. This is the um, Omron Micro Air Nebulizer. It's um, like a little pocket one, as you can see. It's uh, portable. You can use a mask with it, or you can just breathe it through the tube there. It normally has a little rubber bit on the top, which you've, uh, you'll see in a minute. I've had this one now um, for 10 years. I've used the same ones now for over 20 years. I've had about three or four of them, and I've just kept getting them. None of them have ever broken down on me. Um, my first one I got from a chemist. The second one was given to me. I think I got the third one because I needed some parts and thought I'll just be, you know, prevalent just to buy another one and use the other one for parts, which has actually worked out really well because I was able to make one up for someone. The unfortunate thing was is that uh, it got lost in the post, so I'm now sending them another one. Okay. So this is the um, pocket nebulizer, a microwave U22, made by Omron. And these are great products, actually. Omron have great products. Right, comes in a lovely little powder case. Excuse me, nails. I have my nails done in donkeys. So, comes with all your bump and info, uh, manual instructions, etc. Probably like all your guarantees that would have been in there if you'd have bought it brand new. You can tell if hardly used. You can immediately tell it's been hardly been used. It uh, comes like this. Excuse me, because I'm one-handed here. So it's lid. This here is the main unit. You put the batteries in this section here. These two prongs here, or if you were to buy the um, unit that like a power unit rather than battery. You can buy them, you can get them online. I've never used it because I've always used it as a portable one. I just want to take with me everywhere so I just keep batteries with me. This here is the medicine port. Now how you use this is, how I use it, is I flip this bit up. I put my nebules, squirt my nebules in this bit here. I'm gonna close that down. You'll see the liquid there in that chamber. You can open this chamber, I'll show you, but you can't really put your liquid in there because you suppose you could. I think it's a lot easier putting it in there than here because obviously if you can see by putting it in there it might just come straight out again. That's more for cleaning it out personally I think. You can clean these out, you can press these two side bits there, one either side you just press them and the whole medicine unit comes off. You can buy all the parts from this little plastic bit. And because I was so heavy handed when I first owned these, 
because you clean them with like um, cotton wool buds to clean them. And if you press down on that little silver bit in there, too hard, and that, let me show you, and that pushes through. I'll show you how flimsy it is. It's like really flimsy. So if you push that from the other side, because that's where the medicine comes out, vaporizes from, it just pushes straight through and tears the rubber. And they cost about 20, 30 quid back in years ago just to buy that little one little unit here, which comes as this piece here, I think. So yeah, and I think they cost a lot more now. So just as long as you're gentle with it, it will last you years, because this one I've got now has lasted me well over 10 years. I've never had to replace that one. Sorry, I'm still really shaky and not particularly very good, so I hope you can understand me okay. So I'm really not feeling good today. Um, it comes with uh, this bit here, which you can put on there. So you're breathing it through there. Or it comes, if you take that bit off there, the rubber bit, it comes with, stand that up, it comes with a mask. So you can obviously fit the mask straight onto the bit, take that rubber bit off and you fit the mask straight on. There's a child mask and there's an adult mask. And with all of these, it's a wonderful gadget. This one's virtually brand new. So I'm gonna take this off and put it back so I can get it straight in the post. So right, that's gonna be flying on its way to you, mate. And I'll see you guys in a sec, and I'll show you about my one. Hey guys, this is my nebulizer. As you can see, it needs cleaning. It's been used a lot in this last few weeks and hasn't had a clean. Now, I've lost the rubber bit off the top there that you saw in the last one. Just because it's one of those little things that gets lost easily. I tend to use it through there and not the mask. I don't do well with the mask because I get quite claustrophobic in things around my nose and my mouth and at times obviously when I can't breathe I find it a lot easier just to be able to breathe it in like that and I can just take it away from my face quickly and put it back. You take this bit off, that's obvious, you can wash that quite easily in a bit of soapy water. What a lot of people clean these with is uh, white vinegar. It's meant to be one of the best cleaners for these sort of things. As you can see everything's crystallised there you can see it's all turned into like white crystal you see all the crystallization in here that's the medication where it dries out where all the medication goes as you can see there's still some in here i've left some in so you can see it's got the batteries in the bottom these ones have to be kept upright you'll see where it comes from is that little bit in there as I showed you in the last one, you have to be very delicate when cleaning that. Clean everything around these with a, a cotton wool bud. But I'll show you how to take these apart. That lifts up and I literally squirt my little nebules in there. So for cleaning, like this is nice and easy, look, that just lifts off like that and goes in. As you can see, it's got like two prongs either side and two little wells that it sits in and that just releases back that that lifts off and clips back on so this is all easy to clean this is the one you have to be most delicate with because as you can see on this side it's like a little bit of rubber so say be very gentle with this this is your main component now i'm not going to open that because there's a lot of liquid in there and it will come out everywhere so let me just put this back a sec this needs cleaning desperately i've kept it for a few weeks this so you could show you it's got all sorts of dirt and all sorts of stuff in there so it desperately needs cleaning as you can see dirt gets underneath all these things you must clean them regularly you press either side of here take the medicine bottle off and you can give it all a clean underneath obviously give the components a clean be very delicate again as you can see this crystallization of because even though it vapes through there it still is wet like if that gets wet Best thing to do, I found, is not try and dry it out first. Blow, blow in there as best you can. I'll get someone with better breath than you because I can't always do it. Blow the water out of there, and then just try it again and see whether it is coming out as strong as it would normally. That seems a little bit weak to me because it's still wet. And if it is, 
maybe a little bit of tissue or a cotton wool, but very, just touch it, don't push it, just touch it and anything that's wet in there because it won't vaporize as well if it's wet. In fact, if it's, if it's wet and it won't vaporize at all because that needs to be dry to it to vaporize from underneath. These are amazing little products. Anyone I know that's had one of these has absolutely raved about them. It's so easy, it's just an on off. That light there is to show it's on. That light is to show that it needs a battery. That'll be red, that's green. You know, I've shown you literally the only parts there are. You go online, you'll see all these parts. It's only like a couple of parts. So, you know, you'll tend to, once you've used it a little while, you'll tend to know everything about it anyway. I'm gonna go and clean this properly so it ends up looking like new, like the other one. From me catching the breath. I shall see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and each other. And um, as always, don't forget, stay and remain positive. And I'll see you soon. Bye.